What is up, jokesters? This is Big Homie Jokesta here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we got a top five sniper list, and the top number five goes to the M21 right here. As you guys can see, it's not the greatest. It's a two-shot type of sniper rifle, and I had to de like you know debate for a while, like which would be the top five. And definitely, you know, I have made the list, so like that's what I'm choosing with. But then the last sniper was like, okay, it's either like the N, you know, NA45 or the M21 or the EPX or something like that, right? And like, and I was like, okay, you know what? The M21 is definitely probably. It looks clean. It sounds great. The recoil isn't that crazy. You know what? Why not pick this as my top five? So I also hit up my boy um, Path. Uh, dot exe if you guys don't know him definitely check him out there's a link down below where you guys can take a look and subscribe to his channel and all that stuff but meanwhile you you guys are here make sure you hit that sub you know help the channel grow a little bit anyways moving on to this list um yeah the m21 is okay it's not the greatest but it's something that you can you know play around and try to get you know some cool kills and stuff like that it's definitely more of a campy weapon you got to camp a little bit if you want to have some success with it and what I recommend if you're using this gun or any other weapons that's like full auto is just to camp as much as possible. Another take that I do on the sniper is I pretend that I only have one shot and my one shot has to be the headshot. But sometimes I fail and I just like, you know what, I'm gonna just go full auto. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my take on this is just to try to hit headshots as much as possible. If you can hit headshots, then you're gonna be pretty, uh, crazy sniper with this thing because it's all about headshots in my opinion like if you can hit crazy shots like these like just headshots only you're gonna be pretty op right so yeah this is a uh, top number five i'm gonna show you guys the build really quick for those of you guys are wondering i'm trying to try this thing out so here it is this is the attachments uh it's pretty simple stuff 20 round reload strike four grip suppressor mip steady and the mip strike stock now, the fourth on the list is the DLQ. Now, you guys are probably wondering, wait a minute, you put the DLQ as the number four? And yes, I did. And it's because the DLQ just can't compete with the other sniper rifle. There's definitely three, the last three, that are definitely better than the DLQ. But I'm a big fan of the DLQ. I really like it. I have some crazy clips going on in this gameplay. You guys are going to see in just a moment. I just, I really have this connection with the DLQ. I just know the timing. I know when to scope in, when to scope out. So it's like, I was like, it was, it was made for me. You know what I'm saying? I like this. I, it's just, it feels good. It's been in my season one and two and three and all these seasons. You know what I'm saying? Like I like the DLQ, but I just can't get used to other sniper rifles. And that's the problem with me. It's just that I got to get used to all their other sniper rifles for sure. And just try to get better. You know what I'm trying to say is that I need to let go of the DLQ now. It's just the top number four on the list. It's definitely not really considered, like it is considered greatly the best, but there is other snipers. And me popping off right here, it's beautiful. I love it. And then I die and it's spoiler alert. Yeah, it's just, it was terrible. I was popping off, man. I had like, I don't know, six or seven. It was good. It was really good. I liked it. See, like, that's what I'm saying, the DLQ, has such a good vibe with me like i know how to use it you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of things like the other snipers i just i don't know something off with it but with the doq is just i know how to play with it and i just keep dying to this shotgun guy it's like really dude but overall like i really enjoy sniping it's just i don't really do it often and it's really kind of rare to see jokesta myself using a sniper you know what i'm saying People always be like, jokes that why don't you snipe more often? And I'm like, man, it's just, I like being aggressive. I like getting these kills. Now, this shotgun guy is going after me. This is the move I call sneaky peek and then run away and the no scope. Boom. End the game. And here's the attachments. Really quick, I'm using the MIP light skeleton stock uh, FMJ. Really, really useful. I really like the FMJ. Now, top number three on the list is the Arctic. You guys probably already seen this coming. You, you know, you guys uh, can do way too quick on this. The Arctic is definitely on the top three. And you know, a lot of people are gonna disagree. You guys are gonna probably say, well, I'd rather put the Arctic as the top number four on the list. Well, I completely would agree with you, but the thing is, is that some of the guns out here um, are, I don't know how to explain it, but if I'm being dead serious, I would say the Arctic 50 and 
the next gun up coming uh, in top two is um, the best guns out there. And now that's going to be debatable, debatable because I believe the Arctic is definitely one of the best. It's just not a lot of people want to use it. And whenever they use it in rank, people get really pissed off and annoyed. But in general, Arctic is a one shot gun. And if you can actually like master it, you probably will be really annoying to play against all the time because it's literally one shot to the leg or or to the body or where, wherever you shoot it at. Like if you have the right build, the Arctic is pretty powerful. And that's why I put it as the number three. I would have put it at number one, but then a lot of people would get really upset and I would see a lot of comments. A lot of people are gonna be like, yo, what? <laughs> no way you're gonna put that at number one. So. I don't want to. I don't want to get some, you know, heat. But I definitely really like the Arctic. I think the Arctic is definitely one of the craziest weapons. It's just we haven't reached the level of the uh, where it's just really annoying. Like I think there was a level where it was like one season. I think it was like either season two or season three where everyone was just using the Arctic and they then they nerfed it and then they put other sniper rifles out there and the arctic was like okay i'm gonna disappear and then the arctic got really good nobody really plays with it then but that's my point is that the arctic is actually quite good it's just nobody really want to use it now and it's because the ads is super slow but if you can just master it then yeah anyways here's the build for this arctic let me know what you guys think about the arctic where would i where should i place it but anyways Number two on the list is the Outlaw. If you guys saw that coming, let me know. It is actually top number two on the list because it's uh, it's uh it has the same one-shot area, you know, in, in general. And um, the Outlaw is faster than the Locust for Quickscope, for sure. But... If I'm being dead serious, Arctic 50 and the Outlaw are the best. And that's what Path also said. You know, he was like, yo, the Outlaw and the Arctic are actually the best ones on the list. And you see, the point that I'm trying to make is that the Outlaw has a range of 30 meters. Beyond 30 is just not consistent, right? But quick scoping is really is just that 30 meters. And it's like if you quick scope with this Arctic and you're a quick scoper, that means you're going to be faster at killing players that you see right away. So it's all about that 30 meters and that quick scope from Outlaw definitely has it. Outlaw is better than Locus for quick scope. Okay. That's why I put this as number two. But if I was like for myself, I would probably put this as number one, in my opinion. Because I'm more of a quick scoper and a no scoper like this. Like it's all about who can aim the fastest and hit their target. And all Outlaw is um, 30 meters, so it's the same range as every other sniper rifle. Like, you know, they all have that range where they can just hit directly and get that one shot kill, whatever it is. Um, so that's why I think the Arctic is kind of underrated. It's not underrated, it's just not a lot of people use it. You know, that's the thing. Not a lot of people understand that the Outlaw is quite good. That's the thing. Not a lot of people know. They just don't want to try the thing and they go with whatever is the trend. And that is the thing with Call of Duty Mobile is that everybody just follows like, oh, you know what? You know what? This guy is using the sniper rifle. I'm going to actually use that as well. But that is what we are up to to nowadays is that everyone just follows the trend and stuff like that. But anyways, that is the outlaw. The outlaw just quick scopes so quick. And that is why it's on the list. And the Arctic is like also on a list for top number three because of the power it has. It's just a one shot, one kill. So this is more of a quick scope. Here's the attachments for you guys. And uh, now we're gonna be talking about the number one sniper in season 13. It is the Locust. Yeah, I know. You guys probably saw it coming. You're like, okay, I just knew that. Look at that, one shot, two kills. It's one bird with two, well, one stone with two birds, right? And so this is a great sniper rifle. I don't like I don't mind it. It's great and all. It's good at quick scoping. It looks cool. It is amazing. And it's been kind of popular for whenever it came out. I remember like back in the day, everyone was like, yo, the locust is coming out. I'm really hyped about it. All that kind of stuff. 
and it was great but nobody really kind of used the locust because it was kind of weak back in the day but in season 13 it got the you know i think it was season 12 and 11 it got a little bit of a buff and everyone's like yo you know what i'm gonna stick with the locust and now the locust is quite good it's quite fast as well um i think the outlaw for sure it is definitely better uh than locust on quick scoping for sure but the out uh the locust just over in general looks cool feels really cool and yeah that's about it and overall like i don't mind playing with the locust it's just it's great and i can see why all the pros love this thing like if you're watching my play right now it's just unbelievable like i'm like oh you know what that's why they're hitting all these shots it's this it looks cool it's great it also very accurate and i'm not having any issues look at that i'm just hitting these shots and i now listen to me man i don't snipe at all like i'm a, an assault guy i like to play with some machine guns as well and a pistols and rocket launchers and all that stuff right and so for me using a sniper is kind of rare this is my first time playing with a sniper rifle and uh i recorded all this in one day and i was like yo you know i'm not that good as a sniper but these this will go we'll just put that in there you know and that is what i did uh, so far i actually enjoy sniping i probably should make some gameplays with it let me know in the comments down below if i actually should but this is the end of the video i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys attachments and give you that no scope right there and uh, here's the here's the attachments it's lightweight short skeleton stock laser tactical stopping power reload and the grip tape as well definitely recommend it if you guys are out there sniping try out the outlaw and the locust let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out homies